So here at the Narrow Connect, so who are you? Andrea Gallo, I'm managing the Enterprise Group. Enterprise and Group? And uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Taras, I'm uh, ICN from TI, I'm working in uh, the Narrow Networking Group. You? Uh, I'm Sam from ELG. And you? Victor? Uh, so, uh, well, uh, it's relaxing time after one very heavy week, tiring, lots of work. We're now relaxing with some chips and chatting. And I was collecting feedback from Sam about their first connect. It's yeah. the first time they joined a connect here, so I was. First time in a connect? Yeah. So, so, what do you think? Yeah, was it so it was bad? Amazing. Was it bad? No, nothing. I think it's a great connect. It's completely great. I have nothing to compare. It's first connect, but I think that. Is that what you expected? Uh, yeah, maybe I expected a bit more sessions, uh, but it, but it's fine. Well, the, the most important thing actually just put a name on the mailing list actually to the real person. Right? That that's kind of like, that's what I actually took out of it. Meeting people is the main. The main advantage here. So, do you work on, on that group too? No. No? What do you do? Uh, we do with Victor, we are doing Big Indian support. Do which one? Big, Big Indian. Big Indian Linux on ARM. Is that. Uh... So, Cisco needed, so I cannot. It's not. You, you didn't say Big Little. What do you say? No. Big Indian. Big Indian. Big Indian. From oh. Indiana point of view. So, normally, current, current established actual ARM system is actually Little Indian. But because ARM goes actually into the networking actually networking sector, right? We have actually come, we have Cisco has actually a huge actual problem with 70 million lines of code uh, written actually kind of like is assumption actually is beginning actually CPU, right? Uh, Cisco is trying to convert it to move to kind of being actually Indian agnostic actual code, but it may take quite a bit of time for us actually to do. So Lenara helping us to fulfill actually kind of like the gap. With using actual ARM, just switching actual kind of be, kind of again, operating in Big Indian actual mode. That way, we have a chance to actually adopting actual ARM alongside of all other CPUs actually that we have. So. Right. You were saying that there were not, you were expecting more sessions. Uh, actually, it was a it was a choice. Uh, in the in the early days at Connect, and also when we were co-located with UDS, it's all it was all about having development sprints. And then slowly, it became uh, it just becomes status reporting. So, informing all the members about progress on, on achievements on certain topics. And then it, it turned into a more in the morning session a traditional conference where you broadcast your information. You have slides well prepared, and but it's not interactive anymore. So uh, in Dublin, the last connect, we got feedback from several members. Let's go back to the engineering spirit. And so we had a clear decision from all the Linaro management to reduce the number of session limits. Uh, in Dublin, for the enterprise group, we had seven, eight sessions. And here we decided to have three, only three, because we wanted the engineers to spend more time in the hacking rooms. And, and Sam was sharing some good examples of this. And then even the... Uh, the format of the sessions. No more slides and one person broadcasting to the audience. We ban slides. Uh, and on purpose we organized all the rooms in Fishbowl and we wanted people to share feedback, talk, uh, ask questions, interact. Well, if you have slides and one person is speaking, well, the others are listening and it, it's not interactive. So that it has been a decision to have fewer sessions and, and interactive. Is the point of the Linar Connect is people connect, right? It's people Just connect, people talk. work together. Sam, you were telling me about the CI loop session. Yeah. It was yeah. great. It was, sure. really, yeah. Yeah. it was really productive because uh, uh, when we are working, uh, uh, one engineer from uh, his country and we have this uh, like video chat. Uh, it's nice, but when all people are collecting in one place, uh, we can discuss uh, things uh, in person. It's really effective. It's it's not comparable to like uh, discussing at IRC uh, at, and so on. So it's not. I mean, most of the work happens between the Nara connects. No, I mean, it is more time. The, 
right here is more like a sinking here it's, up. Here is a sinking up and solving problems, uh, solving big, solving issues together. It's it's more powerful. Uh, for example, also in um, at Plumbers in uh, September in New Orleans, we had a. Uh, the engineers from the enterprise group on ACPI and UEFI. Uh, we were at the sessions in the morning and then in the afternoon we were sitting in a corner in Starbucks and we had so much massive uh, debugging. We solved some very complex issues related to the IO remap and the way that the ACPI tables from the UEFI go into the kernel. And having the same people side by side for few Hours with deep attention is, is 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 really productive. So we work all around the world. We we have IRC, we have Hangout, and then in this connects we 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 boost some of the productivity. We bring people together. We finalize some of the ongoing activities. So it's it's all about collaborating together. Yes. So it's one year old, El Linaro Enterprise Group. Yes. And what do you what do you do with that? There's plenty of more are things you, to do. Are uh, you the, taking care of that? Yes. So you the, you I'm the it? director of the enterprise group. Uh, so what happened this year? Lots of things? Lots of things. Amazing. Um, we brought up uh, UEFI thanks to the cooperation with ARM and the Tiano Core. Uh, we added features. We are able to pass uh, ACPI tables, SMBIOS and structures and use the DMI decoderless hardware tool. Um, we added an EFI stop to the Linux kernel on ARM, both v7 and v8, so now the, the Linux kernel can boot as a native EFI application. Uh, we have Grub, uh, we are working, we are testing the uh, use cases around UEFI, uh, network boot, uh, we will now move to complete the work with SATA. Um, we have ACPI um, running, one year ago in the ARM community, raising the topic about ACPI was was raising very hot and passionate reactions. Uh, what is ACPI? ACPI uh, is used uh, in uh, the other architectures uh, to describe the uh, hardware platform um, at, uh, when when the kernel boots and you can um, discover. Uh, which IPs, which hardware blocks are available, you can configure and you can have a single binary that runs on multiple, uh, multiple uh, SOCs. So it's very important also for the ARM architecture. It's uh, similar to device 3. Now I know that uh, they're not around, but uh, Linux guys, if I say that ACPI is similar to device 3, they will, they will beat me up. But uh, the concept is similar. It's structures, it's data structures. Uh, that contain information about GPIO, inter-appliance, uh, base address in memory, uh, capabilities. Uh, so it's a discovery mechanism where you don't have the information statically stored into the source code, uh, but it's, it's read from these uh, files. They may be uh, written in, in a source uh, way and then compiled into binary blobs. Uh, so, it, so it's similar, and at Plumbers in September there were also discussions on, on there are some features in Device 3 that may be more uh, flexible. So at Plumbers uh, there were very good sessions on how to uh, have similar uh, flexibility with ACPI. Uh, then we, we have been working on, on many other areas. Uh, the one that is really amazing is OpenJDK. We have an uh, amazing cooperation with Red Hat with Andrew Haley, Andrew Dean, and the team at Linaro on OpenJDK. So we have a, uh, we are porting OpenJDK 8, uh, the hotspot uh, JIT compiler. C1 What's OpenJDK? Well, OpenJDK is Java, it's what you read. It's just Java? It's just Java, it's, yeah. it's huge, it's really, it's what you need to run Java on a server and a client. Um, so OpenJDK is the open source project, uh, then Oracle has, of course, in parallel commercial projects. Uh, but OpenJDK is the community one. It's done in a community uh, and Linaro and Red Hat, we have been cooperating on the uh, ARM64 port within the OpenJDK 8 project. And uh, we are now aligned to almost three weeks away from TIP on the OpenJDK project. 
Deep? What is that? Uh, so it's it's the development tree of OpenJDK 8, which is not finalized yet. And as Linaro and Red Hat, we are three weeks or less than three weeks behind uh, the the development stream, and we. Um, so we, we are working on the on the uh, porting to ARM64. Uh, it's amazing because the C1 is 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 already stable, and we have a, a preview of the C2 uh, JIT compiler that is already running Hadoop. So we have uh, Hadoop big data running on OpenJDK8 on on the C2 uh, compiler. Um, running on on, on ARM 64 bit. And so uh, ARM 64 bit, like uh, one of these development boards, early ones, right? Uh, yes, we're working both on the uh, models from ARM and real hardware, like uh, uh, applied micro, maybe. Exactly, that's the one. When it comes uh, out, uh, that's the one. Uh, it's yeah. public information that we have one in our lab, and we are. Uh, you only have one. Um, Is it fast? We started with one, and. Uh, um, it's it's good progress. It's a very good progress. We are we are happy about that, and um, uh, our engineers uh, love as a, yes Hadoop is a good test. But there's something else that our engineers love uh, that is a Sinclair Spectrum emulator that is written in Java and runs on OpenJDK8. So it's, that's like a 1980 device, right? That's a 1980 device. Or something. But when you emulate. Um, when you emulate all the Z80 hardware and graphics system, and you can play games in uh, with a Sinclair Spectrum, uh, are happy? It, it means it means that just like uh, Hadoop, it means that the JVM is working well, and the port of the JVM on the new processor is is, is complete. It's fairly complete. So that that's amazing. That's a well, playing a Sinclair Spectrum game on a on a server, uh, well, it's not really the purpose it was built for, but it's a it's a nice geeky <laughs> um, test. Like when you have your first board and, and and the first LED lights up, then you say, "Wow, I've done it." So ARM servers is going to be huge, and it can only work with your work, right? We what work you do up, we work upstream. This. We work upstream. We work upstream. Everything we do ends up upstream. So there is no lockdown. Linar is not about lockdown. Linar is all about collaborative engineering. So everything you do is enabling this future of unpowered servers everywhere. And this yes. is this is crucial for the future of our planet. Because we don't have enough <laughs> we don't have enough power to run all this data, all this stuff on X86, right? It's exciting days. It's exciting. Right?